Hey, what is everybody? This is your boy, Nolan Chuck, with yet another Star Trek leak in my video. Today, we're going to go over the basics that came with the Mirror Universe Part 2. I know I'm a little bit late on the video. I know I'm a little bit late creating the video, but I want to go over just the additions that came with the Mirror Universe Part 2, what I thought was good, maybe what I think is bad, or just what I think in general about the Mirror Universe. But before going into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Hit that bell notification down below. And don't forget to leave a comment if you liked the video or what your thoughts on the Mirror Universe are. And don't forget, there are donation links listed down below. We have a PayPal, Cash App, and a Venmo. That is, if you want to do it, you don't have to. Just drop it in down below. But we'll dive into the first one is a building, which to me is a good addition to the game, especially diving into the Mirror Universe if you're the type of player that wants to go into it or wants to be able to explore the Mirror Universe. Gonna give you a little bit extra time. I know it's not a lot of time, but it's a little extra time that helps you get into the mirror universe. So what we see is as we level it up, we get our PvP barrier up, our mitigation stats up, our PvP critical damage up, mirror universe time up, um, the gift what you get, what here it is, one, two, three, four, five, and the power of building, which we got power creep no matter what. It's cool. We have a city finally within our station when we never had one and don't be add a little thing in there, I guess. But in the world of the independent contractor, no station is complete without a bustling hub of trade entertainment and at the occasion occasional black market deal. And the occasional black market deal yep, comes to the rest of the relaxation of the ventures of District 56 as everything that a dedicated independent could ever need. Every five levels you upgrade District 56 the cooldown and increase the reward is given to this year 56 reclaim and the mirror refinery as you see our tier one information is basic so once you get to level five your gift gets bigger your duration is about five percent still once you to tier 10 or building level 10 your gift gets to three uh tier three and the duration is 10 percent. so you go from 20 the 22 your first level when you get the building just takes it 21 minutes in the mirror universe and it keeps going up as you progress as you see we go all the way to 60 we're not 70 right now the upgrade ops to uncover further so there might be another 10 levels that we don't even know about but right now since i'm ops 59 i can only see the 60 as you see here your barrier goes up for 30 uh, 300 3500 percent which is a 35 35 percent increase for your pvp which is cool, but you're gonna be basically fighting people against your level unless they spent money. And it really doesn't matter that part of it because you're just equaling it out at that point. Um, we have our mitigation stats at 600 percent our PvP critical at 95, the cooldowns at 50 percent which are cooldown with the entrance, which means you'll have 30 minutes in there versus 20 if you can get 260, which will either take money or a long period of time of trade or going through it. Then we have the gift is at 13. Now Speaking about the gift, we'll take a dive into the gift in the Mirror Universe Refinery. We'll dive into it here, and we have another thing to uncover when we get down it. So we have the gift right here. I don't have the spot or the mod installed, but it gives you your Trillium D. It gives you 100 entrance tokens, which is going to give you one extra every three days, basically, one entrance. And then it'll give you four right now at my level of the premium, which is going to take you it's 40, so 10 days, get one premium entrance, which to me, I think it needs to be a lot more because you either waste one nine tokens of common to get to get your trailing, refined trail MD or just refined trail MD, the trail MD in general. Um, and then we have the new additions to it, which is going to be our max cell eclipse exchange, which to me is awesome. It's based on, I'm guessing, your level your cell. So you can get those if you need it. And then we go down to our mantis which is cool to me you get 30k which is not much but you get another 2500 syndicate xp and the whole fragment because if you're skimming through a whole fragment while you're going through your um your mantis part amazing if you have tier 12 stella or tier 12 mantis please let me know if we have the max warrior stuff we have our exotic biotoxins our common uh anomalies our rare anomalies and then we have the uh commerce insignias which is cool if you want to exchange it for that it's only 300 it ain't much and then we have, I don't think we have anything added here. 
besides here's our gift, which to me gives me, I think, 50 a day right now from uh, so this year air boost with your district or your district six level. So this is boosted at its level. So 11 to 20, you get 50 and then it continues to go up as we progress through the game. Um, we have nothing new in this aspect. And then we go down to here to our fashion, which is the newest edition part of it, which is not new, new, but it's in the section 31. As you see here, we have a new uh, credit right here, which is section 31 mirror credits, which you earn by doing the new wave defense. I'll show you where they're at. They're a little bit harder, but not much harder. I've already cleared it three times at full clear and then two times at like wave six, seven. So it's not too bad. And I have 7,300 tokens. So we see here, we have our new uh, missions that come apart with the dossier three and four. Cool. We have um, the exchange rate, which is going to be where's exchange at? So with the new credits, you exchange down to the normal section 31 credits. So it does exchange right here. I think it's a thousand for 1500, which is cool. So you can work on it if you don't have your up to your handler or the next level. As we see here, we have the agony booth the agonizer, which it should have been properly made and said, but Scopely chose agony booth for some reason, which to me, this is one of my favorite ones is apex barrier against non armada hostiles. All right, 400 max 2000, which is a 4% increase to a 20% increase for your PVE. And then we have our FKR rep, which should be great for grinding. Then we have our um, unlocks for our unlocks, but your increased hull health and damage against non player hostiles, which is a great PVE one. Then we have our new um, field repair ones for the Kelvin, uh, Northcut, Vorcha Cha, Corvus, Katinga, Valdor. Um, we have those right there, which is cool, which you unlock it through this one, which is just a 10% increase right here. It says, oh, it's 25%. So to me, that's yelling at people who are doing waves if you want to continue to survive a little bit longer if you don't get taken out so quickly yeah it's cool but we don't have our rares in there we have our epics yeah but rares we should have had them in there the other edition that i'm really loving right now is going to be right here which is the mirror federation mirror klingon and mirror romulan trade you can trade 850 of your new tokens or either for me at my level 100 million klingon 31 million federation or 148 million uh, romulan fed or they added these ones in here too, 15 million, 50 million, and setting 4 million gives you another area where you could focus on to level it up. And then you have another trade down right here. You can get 7,500 syndicate XP for 1,200 of the new 631 credits, or you trade that one in for it. So they added quite a lot into this little section 31 tree if you want to work on it and you want to look, dive into it. And then we have on this one, our next one is going to be. Let me double check. Our next one is going to be the new right here. Mirror way defense. I know some people aren't like the happiest about it, but as you see here, you throw our waves with the mirror credits and we then we get our initial base start is 200 trillion D and then increases per level 50, 50. It adds on to what it is. So potentially you have what? 10 levels. And let me look at the numbers. Oh, I hate that when you scroll off of it or you go too fast. So as you see, you 200 your base of Trail MD, right? And we have, let's see what it is, level 10. I'm going to get mad at this computer quickly. So we need to fix that little bit of it. So as we get to the max level 100, 100, 100, that's 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, 600. 800 uh, liquid trail MD if you finish it, and then a potentially 100, 300, 800, 1,000, 1,250, 1,250, 2,000, 2,400, 2,900, and 2,500, 2,600, whatever. And then potentially 4,000 of the new wave defense or the new. Um, 631 mirror credits, which is a great, great, great addition to it. And let me return to the ship because it's been sitting in space for a minute. And then the other addition to the game is going to be down here. We have four new officers that were added to the game. We have Mirror Ezudax, Mirror Troy, Lieutenant Picard, PQ, or not PQ, Mirror Kira, and we'll over the information on them 
I'm going to do a dive on Lieutenant Junior Grade Picard in another video because I'm going to do a whole nother dive on that one, which annoys me to a lot of it. But I'll go over that in the next video. So her main ability is intoxicate, intoxication, which is on the round start mirror. Kira increases apex rate by 1500% each round for five rounds. Cumulative. Cool. And then we have our other one is on round start against a player with simulate mirror cure increases your shots fired by 15%, goes all the way to 40% at max tier, which is going to be quite devastating if you look at it like that. And then we have mirror Ezri, my favorite, just because daughter's named Ezri, just to say the least. Then we have our captain maneuver is on combat start while against a battleship. Mirror Ezri increases your apex rate by 75% duration of the combat, which is about a 75% increase in your longevity. You can take damage from and then the ability does not trigger it we are the impression on the impacts and we have her officer abilities on the round start against a player with the simulate mirror esri dax or esri increases your kinetic weapon damage by 450 percent can go up to 3500 percent then we have our next one is mirror troy which should be right here which are psionic tactics which on combat start while against an explorer player mirror troy increases your apex barrier by 75 percent for the duration of combat Cool, that's seven percent, and then you still have. I think she has her synergy, but I'm not 100 percent on that. And then her opposite ability is on round start against the player with assimilate. Mirror Troy increases your energy weapon by 450 percent up to 300, 3500 percent at max tier, which is cool. I'm gonna do the read ups on the characters. We have Junior Grade, which I'm gonna do another video on him to talk about him because I am annoyed by it. But we'll talk about it in a minute. The Lieutenant. Picard increases your apex barrier by 4,000%, which is a 40% increase for hostiles up to level 35 hostiles. I'm not going to talk about it. And then we have 5% to your shield health to non armada hostiles. Cool. He makes a great officer for the next gen down the line. We'll talk about it in another video because I don't want to talk about it right now because it just annoys me to no belief that he was added and he was locked at level 12. Or level 35. And I think that's about it for our content when it comes down to the Mirian Risk Part 2. I wanted to go over it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. All right, guys, it is no one shall sign out. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.